Dustin Poirier hopes to become the only fighter in UFC with two wins over Conor McGregor. Now, before all that went down, before Dana White was up there wrestling with Conor, trying to keep him away from Poirier, we actually caught up with him. Well, guys, the Knights had the Wild right where they wanted him up. 3-2 in this series with a shot to close things out at home here for the first time in franchise history, but they just couldn't get it done. For the third straight season, the Knights have blown a 3-1 series lead, and now T-Mobile Arena is getting its first ever Game 7. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys, we waited quite a while for this. In fact, we haven't seen a packed crowd here at T-Mobile Arena since March. March 3rd of 2020, 458 days. Pretty incredible when you think about it. The Golden Knights will try their hand at closing out this series one more time. And in order to do that, they got to keep doing what they've been doing, shut down that top line headlined by Nate McKinnon and company. In the last 10 periods of hockey, that group has not scored a goal in five-on-five -five hockey. So that's pretty incredible when you think about it. And a big reason for that has been Mark Stone and the rest of that VGK top line. <laughs> but let's switch it over, talk a bit of the offense. What are you kind of watching throughout OTAs offensively from this team? Biggest takeaway for tonight, honestly, the unsettling feeling of like, you know, we came to this, the trilogy, things are going to be done. We're going to have some sort of finality to it. And we don't because Connor gets hurt. They end it via doctor's decision. So now we're left with that. What if it kept going?